Welcome to day two of the plant-based challenge. So for breakfast today, we're gonna make a savory one. It is a grilled avocado toast. If you have seen the meals I eat on repeat, you have probably seen this one already. Anyhow, I'm mashing up some avocado and adding lemon juice, spices, fresh basil, and crumbling down some tofu. This is a great hack to add in some extra protein to a meal. So I'm just stirring that up until it's combined and adding it to a piece of bread you can use whatever bread you like but i'm always using whole wheat bread because it's more fiber and it's more filling placing that in a sandwich grill and voila there you have it this is actually one of the first recipes in my app and i'm still eating it on repeat to this day because it's simply delicious and i love that it has it all it has fat fiber and protein win-win situation for all of us for lunch today we're having leftovers the loaded sweet potato so i'm just reheating that in the microwave you could have this as a cold salad i can imagine that it will taste good as well but i prefer warm meals now when it's colder outside so i'm just adding all of the toppings on top i've been looking forward to have this since yesterday because it is yummy i've been making it for some non-vegan guests and they've been loving it so please let me know what you think in the comments for snack we're having choco bliss balls the ones we prepped in the prep video so just grab them from your fridge and have as many as you want don't ever feel restricted if you want more than two or three just have it so for dinner today we're gonna make a creamy artichoke pasta these kind of pastas are my go-to when i want something quickly so first i'm starting with preparing all of the ingredients like the onion artichoke and sun-dried tomatoes important is to save the sun-dried tomato oil if you want more deep flavor. So while the whole wheat pasta is cooking, I'm sauteing some shallot, garlic, and red chili flakes until it smells so good. And then I'm just adding the sun-dried tomatoes, artichokes, fresh basil, giving that a stir. And now it smells even more amazing. Now bring out the prepared pasta sauce, today's hero. So just remove the lid and add it to the same pan. On low to medium heat, just let it come to a simmer and it will thicken up really good. And then when the pasta is done, just drain it and add it to the pan. Combine everything until the pasta is covered in this beautifully creamy pasta sauce and the flavors are just perfect together. And then add lemon zest and lemon juice right before serving. And yeah, add it to a bowl together with with some more fresh basil and what is a pasta without black pepper this is very good if you have never made pasta sauce with cashew nuts this is your sign so now i'm just gonna enjoy this meal happily knowing that i get to eat this tomorrow again and oh don't forget to save the leftovers for tomorrow in a container hope i'll see you tomorrow again on day number three on this plant-based challenge